Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. If you are new, it would mean so much if you guys click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family because I do upload every single Tuesday and Thursday. But I am so, so excited for today because I am doing a kitchen tour. I did do an empty house tour when I did move into this house, so if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out, I will link it above. But I am slowly but surely starting to finally move in and get my furniture pieces because let me tell you, it has been a little bit of a struggle trying to get furniture during this whole pandemic. Kitchen is the one place that is really coming together. We are going to be renovating the kitchen in the future. We aren't going to be doing it anytime soon, so I thought I would just kind of do a kitchen tour now. We really just plan on renovating the countertops and putting backsplash and as well as changing the sink eventually. And I'm so excited to share with you guys that process when it does happen because I think the kitchen is just gonna be 100% pulled together. Picked up a lot of cool pieces and got in a lot of cool pieces. So I wanted to share with you guys all my little kitchen gadgets and kitchen decor. If you guys wanna follow me on my Instagram, I do post some of my stuff on my Instagram when it comes to home decor and all that kind of stuff. So I will link that down below as well as my TikTok. And with that being said, let's just get right into the kitchen tour. This right here is the entire layout of the kitchen and it also goes in through that door as you guys will see which is the little servant room but starting first with this corner I finally received my kitchen table and I'm so happy how it turned out for this area I really did want a circular table that was kind of the look I was going for and I really love the circular glass tables so this is actually from struck to both the table and these chairs when you do have it shipped to your house you do have to build everything so shout out to my fiance for fixing and and building all this because I would have no clue how to do it but I really like this it's actually quite big some of the circle ones I've been finding are kind of a bit too small but I think it just fits really nice in this little area here the chairs are this leather black and then it goes down to the silver it just looks really sleek and modern and then over here the table has this like crisscross detailing I know they have light wood and then darker wood I went with the darker wood I wasn't actually that into what the light look would look like I thought it looked a lot cheaper then it has like these little silver detailing here which I think just ties everything together ended up getting six chairs we have two extra ones that are currently in the dining room and I just laid out four here for now it's been so nice having our meals here finally instead of eating at the island over there over on the center here I just have a couple things so I just have this bowl which like I said before I got this from Dollarama when the lockdowns we're all going down and I eventually am want like a bigger one for my fruit I'm just using it kind of for now it's not really gonna be my fruit bowl later on I just haven't found anything I love but over on here I just put this tray decor this is super stunning it's mirrored it has little crystal detailing around and it has little glass handles my mom actually got this for me and it is from winners over here are my placemats I really think the oval goes really nice with this circular table it just kind of looks like that set out and I thought this was the perfect shape I love the gray it kind of matches and ties in with my kitchen and I picked these up from home sense it comes with six placemats for $12.99 so I thought that was a steal I believe the brand is like Nicole Hill if I'm not mistaken I will try to link things down below that are similar for you guys or if I can find it I'll try and link it down below but for now I just have this all laid out and I think the table and the chairs just look stunning together. I absolutely love how this little corner looks. Currently, we are looking for paintings or wall art over on here to put. And then I was thinking to eventually put like a clock over on here. But for now, for the most part, we have everything for the kitchen. Now coming over on here, we wanted kind of like a sleek, modern look. So we ended up going with the white cabinetry and it's shiny, so there's a, sh a shine to it. I really like that, a lot more modern. And then we ended up going with all of these handles and these are kind of like a dark gray. It could kind of look a little bit black in some lights, but it's more of a very dark gray, which I think pulls together with all of the appliances and accents in the kitchen. The island is my favorite. We ended up getting kind of like a longer island, which I'm so happy we did that because it's just a lot more spacious and I use it a lot when cooking. It just comes to the outlet here. So I've literally been working on the island since I don't have my office all set up still. 
Over here are just three bar stools. These are still my parents. I'm probably gonna go with a similar style. I've been looking at a couple options, probably just the black leather and silver, but I'm going back and forth, so I haven't really picked them up yet, but I know these are from Beauclair. They actually work perfectly with the kitchen table chairs. Now moving on to here, I just have a couple pieces. This here is like a real marble, and I got this from my fiance's mom, and I absolutely love marble, as you guys can tell by all the flooring. I'm obsessed, but I love this for the center of the island. It's really it just ties everything together, I feel. These tulips are from my mom. I obsessed. I love them. My first flowers in the house. And then over on here, I just have some coasters. These kind of tie in with the kitchen table and then my little details of marble, but I picked these up from Indigo. Moving on to this side, all my appliances that you see are from KitchenAid. So this dishwasher, I really enjoy because you could just pull it like this. There's no handle and I kind of like that because there was an option with the handle that actually would have matched over there, those um, appliances. But I just kind of liked how there was no handle. It's a little bit more room and I just think it looks really sleek. I have been really enjoying the appliances so I totally recommend them. Over on here, of course, I just have my drying cloth and then I recently picked this soap dispenser up from HomeSense and I love it. I love the silver, it ties in with the appliances. I'm still looking to find something cute for my dishwasher soap and also the sponge, just so it looks a lot better. Like I said, I am eventually gonna be changing the countertops as well as the sink and then adding the backsplash, but that won't be for a little bit. Over on here, I just have my paper towel roller. It's actually really nice. It's like marble. My fiance actually had this previously and so we just used it because it tied in completely together. This mat I have here that's right below the sink is I believe from Costco. I actually really like the dark gray and gray. It just ties everything together. I have a ton of storage in this kitchen. Here's where I keep most of my parchment paper, Ziploc bags, all that. Over on here is where I keep cleaning stuff for the kitchen. And then I also have kind of like my um, blender and smoothie things over on there. Here is a huge cabinet. I just have a bunch of different containers and cake stands and all that good stuff. So my string and as you guys know, I recently got my zebra blinds installed. We currently don't have any blinds over there where the balcony is just because we have to actually replace that glass door in the spring. We ended up putting our zebra blinds in here and also in the servant room as you guys will see. And we also got our pot lights up in there installed. My family friend actually installed it for us and I love how it looks. It brightens up the kitchen so much more. We also have this section over here which we're eventually going to have to find a light fixture for. So for now, we just have to keep it like that until we get our light fixture. But this is what the pot lights turned out like. They are super sleek. We also got them installed all around the house. It just makes the kitchen look so much better. Moving on to here, I got my knife set. It comes also with scissors, which I really like. I will link them down below. The knives work really well and you don't have to sharpen them. It just comes with all your different knives that you need. Moving on to here, I'm obsessed with this. This is a utensil holder. It's also real marble. You can also use it as kind of like a wine chiller, but definitely just gonna keep it as using it as like a utensil holder. And this is also from my fiance's mom and it literally matches perfectly with the little centerpiece on the island. These are just recent things that I picked up from all from HomeSense. I'm obsessed with HomeSense. I think HomeSense is like pretty much the equivalent of home goods in the United States and also like Marshalls and stuff like that. There's, you could find these everywhere in those type of stores, but I will try and link similar ones down below because they have them honestly everywhere, Amazon, all that good stuff. But I finally got a little holder for my olive oil and I also put balsamic vinaigrette because I just use that more than vinegar. 
And then over here, this is really cool. This is um, olive oil as well, but instead of using this, it is a spray. I just find this would be really convenient when you want a little bit of olive oil on your pan. It just allows you to not use as much olive oil. I'm totally blanking what this is called, but obviously when you're cooking and you have your spoons and stuff, you could place it here while you're cooking. It literally matches perfectly to our coasters, so I find that so funny. And then as well as this little piece that I have here, matches perfectly as well with it and um, this piece down here is just a cheese board and I love the little brown leather here it kind of matches the kitchen table everything's just kind of coming together perfectly and I didn't really plan it I wanted something where I can place my olive oil and have something nice out to display everything and I really loved how this turned out. I picked this up actually on the weekend and it just all looks really nice together. I get asked a lot where my utensils are from because a lot of them kind of are marbled and have like the marble handles and they're all from HomeSense. They have a bunch of them. This is also from HomeSense, the wood spoons. And I thought this was so cool. My mom actually gave me this to flip little things. Like if you have bacon or something, even I use this when we were cooking chicken nuggets to flip them over. And they're honestly so useful and come in handy. So I just have everything in here that I use the most. And now I have my cooktop. This works really well. It's really cool up here is our fan. And even if you click here, got two lights as well. So it just gives you the light on top of the cooktop. And I just love how it looks really sleek and modern and it's just kind of tucked away. And as you guys can see in my kitchen, we have a ton of drawers which have come in handy. These ones in particular kind of have the pots and pans. This my mom actually got for me recently. You can find them at like Marshalls, um, Home Sense Winners, and they're little oven mitts, but they're so cute. They're kind of different. And these are just so much easier to use than the typical oven mitts. I totally recommend and I totally want to pick up more and they're super cheap and they have a bunch of them they're actually the KitchenAid brand so over here we just have some pots and as well as down here and as you can see these are kind of like my old ones these are just a lot harder to use and not as cute for sure compared to those and then over on this side we have a marble cutting board and as well as have marble roller this is like real marble it's so stunning with the wood accents both of these are also were gifts from my fiance's mom so she just knows I'm obsessed with marble and your girl really is <laughs> now I guess we'll move on to here over here I won't bore you it just has our garbage can and compost and all that stuff and we usually keep like garbage bags up there and then here I've shown this in a video before but I'm obsessed with these bamboo organizers got them from Amazon and it actually expands and I love everything about it it keeps it so organized I was so happy I ended up going with this and then I also have two dividers that divide up the other utensils that aren't out and these bamboo dividers are super helpful as well. They also come in a white color. I picked them up also from Amazon. And then I also have one more of the dividers here. This is just kind of miscellaneous things and kind of like my hand cloths and stuff like that. Coming over on here, we have the other appliances. So over here is the stove. And then this is actually a stove slash microwave, which I love and it comes in handy. And they are both from KitchenAid. Up here, we got storage upon storage upon storage, which is gonna come in handy. And then down here we have the fridge. So this is the KitchenAid fridge. I actually love the detail of the bars, the way that it looks. And inside it's just, you know, the typical fridge, a little fridge tour. I actually have to go grocery shopping in a day or two. So it's a little bit emptier than usual. But I love how it also comes with this little rack so you can put your wines or drinks and stuff like that. So that's really nice. And of course, down here, it just comes with the freezer. Over here is just a better look of the bar stools. And then over on here is kind of like the pantry, I guess. So this is where we keep all our snacks and just random things. I want to buy containers and I will definitely do a video once I do that and kind of do like a little remodeling of it and share with you how I organize it. 
because it's definitely not my dream goals yet. Buying all the bins I want is quite expensive, not gonna lie, because I'm going to need a lot. The last part of the kitchen, which I think is so cool and different, is moving on to here, which is the servant room. So keeping with the marble flooring, which I love. I picked these out, they're matte, which I think is really different and nice. So we have a ton more storage space. Eventually, this is also gonna be redone, the countertops. We're also gonna bring the same backsplash that we end up putting in the kitchen over on here. And it's just gonna be all complete once that happens. I do want to eventually organize this a lot cuter. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should do, definitely leave comments down below. But for now, I just have my coffee machines. We got the Nespresso and the Keurig. And I got these little containers, like I've said before, from Dollarama. I put a couple of the Nespresso ones here as well as the Keurig ones here. And then over on here is just like a little bin with random coffee stuff, my frappe things, my vanilla syrup. This is my frappe maker, and then there's the tea kettle that we actually got from Amazon. Over here for now is just like our extra coffees and stuff like that. We also have our mugs over on here. I have a ton of like espresso mugs and my mugs and my fiance's mugs. Definitely not organized to the way I want it to be organized, but I love having this little extra space, especially when we eventually do have guests over. It just makes the kitchen less cluttered, so you can have everything here as opposed to putting it onto the countertops in the kitchen. That is the entire kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun finally being able to share with you everything in my kitchen. I can't wait to eventually when we can do those little rentals to bring you guys along and show you guys the before and after let me know what kind of backsplash or like countertops you think I should go for to kind of tie everything together there's a couple extra things I definitely need to add into the kitchen but for now I'm so happy with it thumbs it up if you guys like it what other type of videos do you guys want to see let me know don't forget to click the subscribe button I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday with that note I will catch you guys in my next video bye